Hi, I'm Dr. Carol Francis. So this is course number three, and this is the next class, and this is all about you being able to regain. Now, I want you to think about regaining. I'm not talking about regaining weight. That's not what we're talking about. Just want you to remember the words. I'm going to re use the word regain. Maybe you regain your wealth. You regain your composure. Okay, so this is the word regain. Okay, none of that's related. I just want you to think about the word regain when, when you, you've lost it and you regain it back. Okay, but here it is. You're, you're going to need to regain your self-esteem and you're going to need to regain your sense of safety and you're going to need to regain your sense of power. You're going to need to regain your body's well-being. So you're going to need to regain your sense of reality. So you want to be thinking of, I need to go back and find me. That's retrieval, right? But in this particular situation, if you have been deflated and you've lost something, go look. Every time you feel that way, you're going to go look and find what you lost. That's retrieval. But you're going to look at yourself and say, what a, why am I so deflated right now? Why am I so, ugh, what do I need to regain in this moment? It might be that you need to regain that sense of, you know, I, I fell into that horrible situation and I, it made me just feel horrible about myself. So I need to regain me. I need to regain my self-esteem. And so you would use rehearsal and repetition as a way of reprogramming your self-esteem. Or you would go do different types of therapies or you would go and do acts of kindness to shout out and reject and replace the bad self-esteem with something worthwhile. Because you say to yourself, you know what? I need to regain my self-esteem or I need to regain my sense of safety. And safety is often regained by knowing that you have power, right? Power to take care of yourself, control to some degree. And you can turn that into all sorts of obsessive compulsive thinking where you drive yourself crazy doing rituals. And those rituals are all about you trying to regain a sense of control. So I'm not making that bad that you're doing those rituals as much as saying, how do you authentically regain your sense of safety and power and control in a situation. Well, you figure out what it is you need to teach yourself to do. So if it was a situation, if it, if, it, if it had been a situation where you were uh, tackled, then you need to go take classes in self-defense. You need to regain that sense of being able to dominate someone when they try to dominate you. You need to equip yourself with the right types of whatever is legal sprays or equipment that you can use in case of emergencies so that you know you've had this tool to, to help yourself with. And notice the notice what I just did. I'm I'm not pro gun and in, in any respect because but at the same time I'm also pro you defending yourself. So if that's an aspect of it, you, you know you have to consider your resources. Another aspect of course is are some sprays. And some are just illegal and you'll get in trouble for having them and others are not and they still work. You know, at once upon a time we had hairspray and hairspray is nasty to spray in someone's eyes. So that would be something that would be relevant to that, for example. And there are other sprays as well. So I'm just saying you say I'm going to regain my sense of safety, control and power. How do I do that? Uh, other way of doing it is that you practice these kind of strong moments. And this is a silly one. Oh, this is so silly and it's so effective. So uh, when I have to leave work late, um, I don't like walking out to the parking lot. It's dark at that time and there may be other people around, but I, I know I don't like this. And so if there's nobody around that I can sense, what I do is I make these really intense sounds with my feet. Shh, shh, just with intense. I, I'm walking like I'm going to stomp someone's head off. And I begin to snarl and, and just roar like a lion in a really terrifying predatory style. And I make a face and my muscles are toned and I'm all ready and I've got my spray and I, I know my, my boxing that that I've done and I, I know how to kick and, I, and I'm just like, I'm in that space. And then I get to my car, which I have my keys out between my fingers, get to my car, I'm ready to open, get in, throw the stuff in, sit down, lock immediately. And at that point in time, I laugh. 
I just completely laugh how completely ridiculous I looked, how silly it was, how intense it was. And I, I do that because I also want to regain my sense of humor. My, 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 I don't want my muscles to stay rigid in that kind of defensive or predatory sort of way. I want to be able to relax. So I just laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. That's, and that's also my way of saying, you know what? I'm safe. I took charge of that moment because I was a little afraid. And I, in that process, in, invigorated everything in me that I had trained myself to be able to do. And that's really so useful. And that is you just kind of going, oh, okay. So then I do what that previous class. I allow myself to just replenish and relax and just laugh and listen to some good music and sing on the way home. And because that's as important in the process of release. And you don't just hold on to it because you had a moment of fear. That's a very silly example, but I actually do it, and it's very helpful. And uh, in some of the extra bonus tapes you'll see, we, we have a whole group of women, all of whom have been abused in different ways, practice the Ryan, lion roar. And then we laugh our heads off afterward. It's such a helpful way to know you can be predator and the dominant influence. I discuss a lot more about the dominant influence in my book, Paths to Recovery After Abuse and Trauma. I think that's a really important part of the book to read, so I take a look at that too. All right, do the exercises, the meditation, and then roar like a lion. <laughs>